Good day everyone, I'm Voodoo. Hope you've all been well. Let's get into today's video. Uh, it is another round of uh, tips and rips. This one being round 16. So before we get into uh, the round 16 tips, uh, what did everyone tip in round 15? I was uh, lucky enough to pick all six games correct. Uh, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> so I was very, uh, very happy when I saw that. Six out of six. So let's get into round 16. We're back to the the full uh, full nine games per week uh, for the rest of the season. I don't, I don't believe there's any more silly buys. So let's get into the first game. Uh, we have Brisbane and uh, Melbourne. Um, Brisbane are absolutely firing on, on all cylinders now. Uh, still a few injured, but I don't think they're going to come back this year to make much difference. But they are firing and... Uh, Melbourne are, are not. Um, yeah, being at the Gabba as well, I think Brisbane should uh, f should take care of Melbourne pretty easily. All right, we got North and Bulldogs. Bulldogs were the buy last week, I believe, and North uh, well, North have been playing pretty decent the last couple of weeks. Um, if not for a couple of umpiring decisions, the uh, those uh, couple of losses could almost mean a couple of wins. Um, saying that, I think the Dogs will win this one. Uh, I believe. Um, uh, what's his name? Norton is coming back this week, so that's going to bolster Bulldogs' forward line just a bit more and Bont in absolutely fine form. All right, we have uh, Sydney and Fremantle next. Uh, like I said, Swans, unless they uh, they show something very dire, you, you can't tip against them. They are top of the ladder for a reason, and uh, yeah, I'd say they're probably there at the grand final day. All right, next we have Gold Coast and Collingwood. Um, like I said last week, Gold Coast cannot play away from home. Uh, this week, being at home, I think there was a, a post saying that the the ground has already been... All the tickets have been sold out already. So, it's going to be a big blockbuster game up at the Gold Coast. <laughs> I'm not sure how many fans can fit into the stadium, but it should be a sellout. Um, so, it's going to be an interesting game. Saying that, Pies will win. <laughs> uh, I think they're getting some players back this week as well. Pendlebury bring one of them. Um, yeah, they should take care of Gold Coast, who are up and coming, but they've been up and coming for a while now. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, move on, move on, move on. Uh, we're, next, we have uh, Crows and GWS. Crows are in shambles this year, aren't they? Uh, they started all full of hope, but um, once again, they're um, on the downward trend. They're going to finish in bottom four, probably. Uh, GWS should win this one. Uh, even though it's at Adelaide's home ground. All right, we have Cats and Essendon. Um, well, what I said last week, Geelong is too old. Well, Dangerfield is probably out this week uh, with a suspension. Uh, I'm doing this before he goes to the tribunal, so I'm not sure of the outcome for that. But also Hawkins is out, so it might actually help them that those two older, older players are out and they can bring in two younger players. Um, saying that, I think the uh, the Bombers should take care of the Cats this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. Will Cats even make the eight this year? That's a, that's a question. <laughs> Next, we have Saint, Saints and Port. Port are in just as much shambles as any other team. Uh, this is a hard one. This is a very hard one. St. Kilda are not great either. Both teams are probably outside of top eight teams. Saying that, I think Port might win this one. I think they're just a little bit better. Um, if St. Kilda play like they usually do, it's going to be a very low-scoring and very boring game. So let's hope Port can uh, score freely and just yeah, make it an entertaining game. Uh, next, we have the old foes, Richmond and Carlton. Blues will win this by a significant margin, you would, you would think. Um, they're second on the ladder and absolutely firing as well. Um... Yeah, that should be almost a demo demolition of this one. And last game, we have West Coast and Hawks. Hawks, uh, I think probably the, uh, the second most informed team behind Sydney. And uh, they will win this one against the uh, My Eagles at Optus Stadium in Perth. Uh, though we do get Harley Reid back, so he could be he could make a difference. Um, I don't think he'll make enough of a difference, so... So, there are my tips for this week. Uh, let's see if we can get 9 out of 9 like we did uh, last week. We said it was only 6 out of 6. So, 
My tips are lions, dogs, swans, pies, giants, bombers, port, blues, and hawks. So, what do you reckon? I reckon I'm going to get at least half of those. <laughs> Let's hope. All right. Well, that was the uh, tips round 16. Let's get into some rips. Uh, like always, uh, we've got some packs here to open up. Uh, if you like these videos, uh, make sure you give a thumbs up. And uh, if you keep coming back uh, and you like the videos, maybe give us a subscribe. So, help us channel out. All right, here we go. The first of the team coach packs. We've got a couple here. We've got an Andrew McGrath and a Brody Grundy in the uh, the silvers. Uh, ooh, we have a gold Jeremy Cameron. Very cool. And underneath that, we just have a giant Newcomb in the, the common Scanlons. Uh, I finally said that right. Uh, I always say base, but it is... <laughs> All right, here we go. Second pack, we have a Grind Mines and a Darcy Moore. Oh, four. I haven't seen one of these in a, a fairly long time. A Kasai Pickett card craft. And underneath that, we have a Nick Larky in the common of Scanlon. So, there we go. Not, some, not, not, a bad, not a bad selection of cards there from Team Coach. Uh, let's get into oh, the, the, the dust it leaves. That's the only problem with the team coach. <laughs> let's get into the hobby pack. Now I I do get I do forget to look at the uh, the insert cards from hobby packs. Uh, the last couple of weeks I've uh, had numbered cards, but I haven't actually shown the numbers off, and um, I've been uh, pulled up on that, and rightly so. So I will try the best to remember to look. At the cards behind in from hobby packs. All right, uh, I think we have a dud pack. Unfortunately, it is. It's just two. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Just two luminous cards from that. So that's our punishment from from last week for not looking at the uh, the numbered card. All right, we have two base packs. Footy stars. Let's see if we can finish on anything decent from these ones. Uh, we do have a 100 game milestone, and underneath that, a Matty Rao. So, yeah, just to check, but there is no <laughs> no number on that one. All right. Put that there, put that there. We have one more pack. Can we get anything decent from this pack? Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. And we are finishing on. Uh, oh, hello, we do. A Thunderbolt. Uh, Waning Malira from St. Kilda. Uh, and it, well, it's just that one, but that's a decent one. It is a numbered card. Uh, 152 of 299. So, uh, probably the best card from the uh, the, the uh, footy stars. Uh, I don't know, I like the gold card from the um, team coach. So, there we go. Bit of a recap, you can see there. Probably there. These two are probably the best, best cards from either set. Uh, what do you reckon? Not bad. Uh, let me know how you think that your tips are going. Um, how the sorry, how, how you think my tips are going. Uh, let me know how you tip this week. Uh, but besides that, I guess thanks for watching. Um, enjoy us today. Catch you next time.